Okay, just do a quick little walk around. Stock 2017 F-150. 18-inch um, wheels right now. Lariat, put the trailer tow mirrors on it, um, which are way better. And I'm gonna do a level kit here. Put some 20-inch uh, wheels on it and 33-inch uh, tires. So I figured I'd just do a little walk around comparison uh, before and after here. And, uh, we'll see how it looks. Alright, so there's the after. We got the new shoes on here. I went with uh, Ridge Grappler tires, Nitto Ridge Grappler tires, 33 by 12.5 by 20. Um, they uh, they look really nice. They have two sides to them that you can put on here. This this uh, out this edge this pattern on the edge is different on the other side of the tire, so you can pick which side you want. Um, you know, there's a cool side and a not so cool side. So obviously, I put the cool side out. Um, and then we have uh, KMC XD 829 Haas wheels uh, with machined gray tint, 20 by nines. With a plus 18 offset, that was my biggest concern with uh, buying the tires and wheels was getting the offset correct. Um, a lot of options there for offset, and every freaking vehicle is different. And I didn't know what the heck I was doing, so I went to Auto Finishers. I spent a lot of time with Justin at Auto Finishers. He was extremely helpful, very very knowledgeable. Um, he just knew. He knew what size would fit with a level kit. I put a two inch leveling kit in here. Uh, I didn't want to do a lift kit because I didn't feel like cutting um, all the metal out from underneath to lower the front differential um, on a brand new $60,000 truck. I just couldn't bring myself to start hacking away at it with a lift kit. Um, so I went with the level kit. It's just a two inch level kit. And with that, you can fit 33s comfortably no cutting um, may have to cut this it has not rubbed yet but this little bit here it's just plastic might have to cut that if you want you can stuff 35s in here with a level kit but then you got to start doing some modifications you got to start um, removing things so you can see it here but this metal uh, crash bar and this metal crash bar here front and rear have to come out if you're gonna put uh, 35s in here and then you got to do some plastic trimming but um, I believe you can fit 35s in here if you are comfortable ripping those out I uh, like I said it's a brand new truck a lot of money I uh, couldn't bring myself to start dissecting it that much um, I pretty pleased that the machined tint in these uh, tires here on the edge matches the caribou on the truck so this truck is uh called blue jeans with caribou on the bottom and i was hoping from the pictures and all that that, that would match well and it actually matches a lot better than i was hoping um, it, it really looks good uh, also we did a little bit more to this in the back of this truck we went ahead and put in some airbags. See them up in there. Um, the airbags we installed were these guys here. And I went with the setup that does not have the built in pump. You can get this with a, a built in pump so that you know you just hit a button and, and power it up, blow them up rather. I uh, didn't want to go that route. I didn't want to deal with the maintenance of a pump in the Rochester winters. Um, you know, it comes with this built-in pump if you want, and then you can just automatically adjust it on the fly. But where I live, that would be subjected to a lot of road salt and stuff, and I don't believe it would last. So I went with just the manual route, and they put the pump in the fuel door, which on these newer trucks is sealed. So should you know protect it pretty well 
and honestly with a high quality bike, bike pump uh, you know a fifty dollar bike pump with a little digital built-in low pressure gauge on it it takes four or five pumps to get this up to 25 30 pounds you know so you're not pumping all day to get it where you need it to be it's really quick really easy um, and for that little amount of effort I figured I wouldn't deal with the maintenance of a powered pump so that's that's pretty much it um, I, uh, I have mud flaps on the rear here I bought mud flaps for the front I didn't want to put them on until I got these tires in here because I wasn't sure if they were gonna rub and stuff so I'll probably try putting those on in next um, I don't know a lot of people don't like the mud flaps because the way they look but there again I live in New York we have a lot of snow and salt and I have these power deployable running boards here that I kind of wanted to protect a little bit so I'm hoping a mud flap will fit in the front there and try and protect those a little bit so that uh, they don't get quite as much salt I'm sure it'll be a minute difference but at any rate that's the game plan is uh, game plan is really to run these just in the sun summer uh, tires wheels like these don't hold up well in the winter I spoke with you know Justin at Auto Finishers quite a bit about it and he said they just don't are salt up here it just destroys these wheels so the game plan is to run these in the summer and in the winter I'm gonna put the stock wheels back on but put some new rubber on the stock wheels um, some more aggressive uh, winter snow rubber for the, for the winter but anyway that's the latest plan um, latest addition to the truck oh one other thing I'll mention too these tires have a 60,000 mile warranty try and find any other tire with an aggressive tread like that with a 60,000 mile warranty you're not gonna that's one of the reasons I went with these. They have a really high uh, rating um, as far as reviews. The reviews are really good on them. Really, you know, higher mileage warranty. Um, a lot of the reviews I read, people said that they were really quiet. I was a little skeptical. And look at this tread, right? That's a pretty beefy tread. And I thought they were going to be really you know, noisier than what people were saying in the reviews. And they're not. They really are pretty quiet. Granted, they're brand new. We'll see. I get 20,000 miles on them. If that changes, I'm sure it'll be a little noisier. But, uh, you know, right now they're brand new and they are pretty quiet. I'll try and take a little video driving down the road with these new tires um, so you can maybe hear the, or not hear the, the difference, or the noise of them. Uh, they're really pretty quiet and I, I, I'm pretty pleased with that. I think that's pretty much it. Um, other than that, I'm pretty pleased with it. The guys at Auto Finishers did a really great job. Um, they were able to knock this out in a day. Dropped it off right in the morning, and I picked it up you know, right around five o'clock. And they knocked it out in a day. They uh, really did a great job doing the whole thing. Um, I'm really pleased with it. Really pleased with the guys at Auto Finishers, I would recommend them quite a bit. And uh, that's pretty much it.